Hey dental fans, Dr. Rich here. Recently, a patient brought me a gift and, when I, and I wanna show it to you. So this patient is treatment plan for upper and lower immediate dentures. His teeth have been failing for a while and he finally decided to do something about it. He started having trouble chewing his food and most importantly, his wife hated how he looks. So whenever I start an immediate denture case, I ask the patient to bring in some old photos of how their smile looked, just to give me an idea as to what their new dentures should look like. In addition to the photos, the patient brought me this old pill bottle. Inside are a fixed dental bridge and a bunch of teeth that he removed himself before he finally came to see me. Let's take a closer look at what's inside. Okay. So here's the pill bottle. It's a Walgreens pill bottle. And it has the teeth and a bridge in there. Let's open her up. Okay. First thing I see, there is a three tooth bridge here. This is a porcelain fused to metal bridge. You can see the metal and it's a white gold alloy that's used and it's just covered in porcelain. So this was a bridge that looks like it's a premolar to a lateral incisor and it was replacing a canine. That's generally not what you want to do. If, you, if you're missing a canine, you don't want to replace it with a fixed bridge like this. Uh, usually canines, if you replace them, you want to replace them either with uh, uh, an implant or something removable. Uh, just because it's uh, just the way the forces are directed, these types of bridges tend to fail sooner rather than later. And then I can also tell that this bridge was uh, patched at some point. There's a little piece missing right here where it was uh, most likely patient had a cavity and this was a dentist tried to save it without replacing it. Uh, but this bridge, I know it failed because the patient got decay around the two teeth that are holding the bridge up. And then one day it just snapped off in his hand. Uh, it came out and snapped off uh, because I ended up having to re uh, pull out those two broken down teeth that were left. So I'm gonna put that aside over here. Let's see, next thing we have here, this is just a piece, piece of tooth. It looks like it may be a lower premolar. Not much left of it though, so it's hard to say what it is. We'll put that aside. This big piece is part of a molar tooth. Tooth kind of broken half. You can still see the silver filling what's left of the silver filling that's in there. And then uh, based on the shape of the root, I'm gonna guess uh, this is a lower molar just because of how wide the root is, uh, but kind of skinny. Could be wrong, but that's my, my guess. So, uh, and, and again, this tooth probably came out due to a combination of periodontal disease and uh, probably an abscess too, just because because of the decay in it. And this tooth here, this is, uh, looks like a canine, upper canine, I believe. As you can see, it's got a really big cavity in it. Let me flip it around and point that out to you. This is all a big hole, big cavity in it. And even on the biting surface, you can see it's been pretty worn down. It's not decayed there, but this person, uh, yeah, most was definitely ground their teeth Probably had a little bit of acid reflux, which contributed to the wear, really beat that tooth up. This tooth, again, periodontal disease or, and or the infection, the abscess from the large cavity that, that they had, just got to the point the tooth got so loose that he pulled it right out of his mouth. Let's see the next tooth. This one is an upper premolar. I can tell from the two roots like this. Uh, lower premolars tend to only have one root. Sometimes they have two, but that's kind of rare and they don't look like this. Again, this one has some wear on the biting surface. You can see how it's worn down here. That's one of the cusps, but no decay or anything on it. Just uh, a lot of 
plaque and tartar buildup, the stating, that's all this dark stuff you see on the root. That leaves us to the remaining three teeth. These are all uh, ladder, uh, all lower incisors. Again, I can tell from the shape of the roots, they tend to be uh, kind of, uh, you know, have a flat appearance. So if you look at it from one angle, it looks pretty skinny. You turn the tooth 90 degrees and it's pretty wide. So that's uh, generally indicates a lower incisor. And then also the size of them, it's upper incisors are much bigger, both the central, upper central and upper laterals. So he's got three of these, all with different amounts of wear on the end of them. Uh, you can see this one's pretty worn down. This one's probably the medium amount of wear. This, this guy here has the most amount of wear. Let me pull that up. But as you can see, if you look close, it's almost worn into the nerve space there. That's what that other, you know, this is the white on the outside is the enamel. This is the dentin. And then this little darker area right in the middle there, that's the nerve space. So, and again, all three of these teeth have a lot of tartar buildup on them. And then this one has the least amount of wear. It's, you know, it has some wear. It's just, you can see these worn through the enamel into the dentin. Uh, let me pull up that medium one again. Medium amount of wear. This one worn into the dentin. Uh, yeah, I could maybe faintly see the, uh, the nerve space right there in the middle. And this might be a little start of a cavity right here, that little dark speck. Uh, let me hold all three up to you relative to each other so you can see, you can compare how much wear they had. I'm going to hold them so that the CEJ's cemento enamel junction, uh, that's the part that usually it's right at the gum line. So they're all pr pretty much, try to keep them even. And you can see this one has the least amount of wear, this one has the medium, and then this guy's got the most. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these kind of gross teeth. I hope I didn't gross anybody out too much. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.